Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC. GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by Corey King, defensive lineman of the Winona State football team. Corey, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Pleasure to have you, Nick. All right, let's get started by you telling us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm from uh, YZ, Minnesota, uh, originally from Brooklyn Center. Uh, I graduated from there in 2016. I am currently a business administration major with a minor in math. Uh, I picked up business administration. I was going to be a secondary math education major uh, and made a little bit of a change a little bit later on in my career. Um, and now I'm here being a senior and I plan on graduating this December. All right. Uh, how did you end up choosing Winona State for your athletic and academic career? Um, for me, during the recruiting process, it's just important to find a place that feels like home. Uh, and I remember, you know, coming down I'm from the Twin Cities area, coming down the river um, along Mississippi through Red Wing and just, you know, seeing how beautiful it was getting on campus. Um, the family atmosphere with the coaches um, and the players was uh, essential to me. And then at the time, um, as I said, I was going to be an education major. Uh, and Winona State has a wonderful education program here. Uh, just built the education village uh, a couple years, a few years back. And, and that was, an, you know, that was an enticing piece for me uh, coming into um, college my freshman year. All right. Uh, prior to college, you were a wrestler at YZ. Uh, how has wrestling background helped you out there on the football field? It has been a tremendous help. Uh, football, uh, wrestling is such a such a grind, gritty sport. Um, you know, anybody that's wrestled tells you that the practice are probably the worst things that you'll ever go through. Um, which makes other sports, other activities so much easier, um, even outside of football. Uh, but, you know, technique wise, you know, your mentality, being able to be mentally tough, you know, you, football, you know, playing 11 games, you're going to be banged up to be able to persevere and go through those things. Um, and also with, you know, hand, hand technique, being able to hand fight very well. <laughs> Um, and also leverage is understanding how bodies work, how, you know, if I move this elbow here, this is how they're going to move and being able to attack a, an offensive lineman or tight end or running back um, at an effective level. Yeah, definitely. I know uh, with youth football sports, I have a younger son playing football. The biggest thing is get his hips low. And someone said the best way to do that, get him in wrestling. So wrestling. Uh, obviously, obviously paying off for you uh, and the Warriors as the Warriors are seven and two and tied for first in the NSIC, four and oh in the NSIC South, riding a three game win streak, including home wins over Sioux Falls and Augustana the last two. Talk about uh, this Winona State football team this year. Uh, it's, you know, it's a big change for us. We have uh, basically all new coaches besides one uh, coach Curtin is our only returning coach from last year. Um, so we just had to start over from, you know, square one starting in January. Um, and we built everything on grit growth team. Um, and in those things that we are embodying um, every day. And obviously we, we believe in the mentality of being one and oh, um, and everything we do uh, that includes practices, lifts, um, and whatever, you know, going to class, being efficient and all those things, uh, because we know that when we're successful off the field, we're going to be even more successful on the field. Um, and so it's just been a, a huge culture change for us and a lot of guys and everybody's bought in. Um, and obviously winning helps. Winning makes everything easier uh, and more fun. Um, and to win against some, you know, some tough teams in our conference um, that perform well, that go to playoffs every year. Um, is a big confidence boost, but you know, the only person that we're focusing on is ourselves, and we know that we can beat ourselves at any week, so make sure that we are focused and locked in and dialed into our jobs uh, so we can perform at a high level. Yeah, dialed in you were last week. A quick start, up 14 nothing in the first quarter on Augustana. Uh, talk about that Warrior offense for a moment. Uh, our war offense is it, it based off our run game. It starts with our run game. We have a stable of horses back there, uh, starting with you know, Ty Gavin and Sam, Sam Santiago Lloyd. Um, both are very, very good runners. Um, I don't like practicing against them because they make it really difficult. Um, but, you know, obviously it also starts with our offensive line. Um, they have been playing out of their minds this year. Only two guys that really have a lot of playing time uh, with, you know, Joe Carlson and, uh, Peyton Dockle, um, but the other three pieces, our right tackle um, being Noah Pappas, our left tackle being Alec Morris, and our center, uh, Mason Carnell, have really stepped up and played some really big roles this year, um, and they're making it making it easy for holes to get going for our, you know, for our running backs to explode and make big plays, and then from there, 
right to right, right into our passing game. We have a lot of seniors, uh, guys that can catch the ball, um, and get yards after the catch. Um, and that and it just makes it easier for our offense to get rolling, um, with the ball. Yeah, and the defense, no slouch either. Uh, seven points to Augustana. He held a Sioux Falls attack to just 17 points and under 100 yards of rushing two weeks ago. Uh, talk about that Warrior defense. It, it's it's a full unit. It's a fully a full unit that has a lot of big play uh, players. Um, you know, with you know Carter Duxbury, you know Darius Manuel, uh, you know Clay Scheffner, Mitch Snicker, um, AJ Lacey. Uh, guys who just want to be around the ball, make plays around the ball. Um, for us, everything starts with stopping the run. If you can make a team one dimensional, uh, it makes every game easier. And then obviously it allows, you know, guys like myself to pin my ears back on third down and get after the quarterback. And obviously, you know, being able to get there with four guys, you know, maybe blitz with one, you know, five, six guy pressures. Uh, it just makes our back half easier and then it makes it, you know, for them to get picks um, by, you know, overthrows and, you know, miss, you know, miss targets. So um, we try to be as complimentary with each other as possible. Um, and it's it's been a lot of fun uh, playing with everybody. Uh, yeah, only two weeks left in the regular season already. Uh, both of those are road games for the Warriors are at Upper Iowa and then at Minnesota State. Warriors rank third in the Super Region 4 rankings and can wrap up at least a share of the NSIC South Division on Saturday with a win. A lot of good things out there on the horizon for you guys, but what has been Coach Bergstrom's message to keep this team focused? One one task at a time. You know, it, it's, you know, we just got done with the lift. That was our one to know. Now we have practice. We have meetings today. Be one to know there and one to know in practice. Um, we're not, we'll be ready for, you know, game day at noon in Viet, but how can how ready can we be right now how how what what is the best that we can be at this moment um and being at our highest level and playing at our highest level so um it's not about you know it's great where we're at and we love where we're at and, and that's due to the hard work that we've done well beyond the season but the job's not done. The job's not finished. There's more things to accomplish things to get better at technique wise um schematically wise and, and being locked in, you know, when you walk into, you know, Fayette, Fayette's a really tough place to be. Um, they play really good ball down there, and they always seem to catch somebody at um, some point in the year and, and have them slip up in, in their playoff run. So uh, we're just being, you know, focused in on us and how can we be uh, the best today. All right, before we let you go, game day, uh, what do you do to get ready for a game? Any special routines, uh, music playlists? Uh, what's your day like before you go to kickoff? Um. So it's a little bit different on a day trip. Um, obviously, we, we travel the same day and play the same day. Um, but I typically just listen to music. Uh, I have a, a couple of playlists that I listen to um, and just, you know, mellow myself and, you know, visualize the success. I'm all, all about manifesting your success and, um, you know, get a good stretch in. But other than that, I'm pretty, pretty lax days. So you're not lax days, but, you know, just locked into what I got to do. Uh, I don't have anything too crazy, uh, you know, eat. And get myself, you know, ready to go. But uh, music is definitely my my go to. All right. Well, uh, best of luck to you and the Warriors this weekend down in Fayette. Uh, reminder: all fans that NSIC football is available live and free on the NSIC network. Uh, you can check out northernsun.org for more information on NSIC football, including those standings and Super Region 4 rankings. That's going to wrap up this week's show. Thank you again to our sponsor, GPAC. Corey, uh, thanks again for joining us. Best of luck to you and the Warriors down the stretch. Thank you. Appreciate you having me.